My Polish Kick on that, Aku i Maliari. And today we're here with another 777, this time in the American Airlines library. And we're going to take it to Los Angeles from here in Honolulu. And forgive the marching dance, I'm not sure why that's happening. But it is. So we've already got everything set up and fueled up. So all we gotta do is first things first, the passengers are all nice and loaded. So let's take the stairs away. And the chalks are gonna go away as well. I'm going to close this door. There's nothing really there. And now let us remove the um, ground handling trucks. We've got another 777 adventure coming our way. So, is that in the wrong place? Yeah, that catering truck is off. It's misaligned. It's feeding the cargo bay. Oh well. Actually, not even supposed to be there. Okay, gotcha. Alrighty. Either way, these things are moving away. So let's check the doors. All the doors are shut. Okay, so which doors to automatic? Passenger bus is gone. And that's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the cabin lights down. Turn the dome lights, well the dome lights or whatever anyways, turn the master brightness down. The beacon. Auto start, just check the auto start. Yes, that's a good reminder down there. Auto start needs to go on. Hit the fuel pumps. I don't think we have fuel in center. We don't. Three. SJX Vision. One. Charlie. Victor. Fly heading. Zero. Four. Zero. Runway. Four. Right. You're clear. Is that coming from Com Two? So let's call the pushback. Better pushback. Dark pushback. Ground and cockpit. Tow is driving up. She's coming. Let's switch this. Okay. SJX Vision. One, Charlie, Victor, contact center on. One, three, five, point nine. Oop, that's five. not going to. Seven, seven, seven he is ready to go. Three hundred this time instead of two hundred. Okay. Got a slightly longer All plane. doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Please connect. There's an American 737 out there, flying an American 777 today. You ready? So... She's done connecting. Still connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Parking brake is released. Jetty is clearing. Push back, and you may start engines. Right, Jetty is clearing. Pushback is starting. 
Let's get these engines online, shall we? Big boy engines. November, November, cross runway, four left, hold short of runway, four right. Right engine, start. Here it comes. Seven hundred thirty-seven to eight hundred six. November. November. Cross and runway. Four right. Hold short. There runway. it is. Four right. Where is that coming from? Change the frequency. There we go. Light engines all nine. Stable yet? Not quite. Okay, that one's stable. Engine number two, I'm getting booted up. Right, Operation left engine complete. I mean. Go ahead and set the parking brake. Left engine getting booted up. Parking brake is set. Disconnecting tail. Stand by. Please do that. No hot starts and here it comes. There we go. Disconnect the hand signals. And now I know why they use 777 for this route. Other airplanes just don't make sense. Let's make sure these are set to auto tune. Nah, I've read. So is disconnected and bypassed and has been removed. Cancel on the right. We'll see Let's. you next time and have a safe flight. Okay. So it's connected. Let's get these on. Ready, all hydraulics go. Engine stabilized. Flaps 220. Let's switch to the flight controls. There's the signal. Great, 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 great. Good stuff. APU shut down. APU is cooling down. There was auto passenger signs on. APU cooled down and running will go away. Auto brake to RTO. Parking brake set. Let's get out of here. Parking brake on set. Let's go. And away we go. Alrighty, uh, the runway taxi is short, so I'll go ahead and I will catch you guys there after the runway. See you then. That was quick. We're back. Shoot. Did these come on? This comes on. Strobes come on. Leave those that don't taxi light goes off. We don't need it anymore. This important thing down here goes to T A R A. 
start the chronometer. This is all looking good and WSO traffic. Okay, good. Let's get out of here. Adjust my seat up. Set take off power right there. It's a little much, but nobody cares. Positive re gear up. Okay, gears up. We are on our way. The command's kind of weird. Don't really want to kill our client right now. That's why we just low to the ground. Pull the class back into 15. Five. That is uncomfortable. uncomfortable. One. And all the way in. Let's climb. Climb makes a bit more reasonable this time. Never mind, 3,000 feet per minute. It's still kind of fast. Speeds now.
kind of weird what you're doing there. Flight director. You're directing me to put the airplane into a die. Gotcha. We don't want that. We want to keep climbing. Okay. See, it's coming back up now, the flight director. That was kind of weird. Flight level 100 is there, 10,000 feet. I think we're going to make it there before that. Wait, never mind. That's um, 5 nautical miles out instead of slightly under 40. thousand feet thousand to go Autopilot 1, Autopilot active. Okay, there we go. Okay, at 10,000 feet, landing lights come off. Wing lights and the logo comes off. Beacon nav strobes are all on. Good. Everything up here is looking good. No warnings. Off. Alrighty. So let's go here to the system status. That is. Okay. Good. Let's. And switch the range back out to a. Uh... Yeah, we gotta turn around. Freaking Hawaii departures. Oh well. But yeah, so I will catch you guys when we are through with the climb. We still got a ways to go before we get up there. See ya then. Alrighty, we are back at cruise altitude. Dealing with the 104 knot headwind, which is not fun. But after we make this turn, I think it'll get quite a bit better. So I may go ahead and make the climb to 34,000 feet. Let's make this turn first. At least the airplane is not shaking. And here comes the turn. going from a headwind into sort of a crosswind, which is still not fun. But we need that extra speed. What does the map say? We make this turn to about 50... There's the 125 knot headwind that I don't want to deal with. Then it dies down quickly after this. So 
So this is a big drop off too, meaning the jet stream must be right there. Let me check my forecast. Hundred and four knots are coming almost directly at us. That is not fun. Flight level 340. Come on. Yep. It's the jet stream. Wonderful. So going straight out will push us out of this rather quickly. And this will turn into more of a crosswind than a headwind to get out here to some lower winds according to my map. And that's why it's dropping all so fast out there. Then we'll pick back up again, giving us a bit of a push. And oomph over to Los Angeles. City jet stream. I'll wait till it dies down a bit to make that climb. I don't want to deal with that high knot, that high headwind. Alrighty, so while that's done, gonna, oh, it's already unlocked. I forgot to lock the flight deck door. So we can just open it. Like this. That's really bright. Turn those lights down. Still kind of bright. That's more normal for a night flight. Let's go find the wing. I already see it. pass on comfortable seats that cost a lot of money pass this first bulkhead here I think we've gone too far back. Nope, there it is right there. You can just slide forward. Have a look outside. Oh, that is bumpy. That's not good. Silly jet stream. Oh, 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 that is kind of, that's really bumpy. Glad this plane's big. Otherwise, that would be really, really horrible. So, we can use this screen here. Let's get in front of it. And do the reading that I always do in Kapumpangen. Psalm 46 1, in Kapumpangen. They always do this. So, I'll put the English translation there, and then I will read this. Joshua in ke katang satu manak si kanan, itu yang kasat yang saup king kali kali kan. One more time. In Joshua in ke katang sak santuan tak si kanan, itu yang kasat yang saup king kali kali kan. All right, that's a good verse for this particular time, considering there's viruses everywhere in the world at the time of recording this. How are we looking right now? Yeah, returning. But that's still turbulent. 
Let's go back to the cockpit. Okay, it's, it's dying down. 72 knots. 71 knots. Good, 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 good. It's dying off quickly. Can we make that climb yet? What's out here? Dying down to 61. What's my VNAV say? We will stay here at this flight level for now, and I will just speed the airplane up a bit. Well, we will get some speed and sacrifice for that. So let's go ahead and make the climb. Uh, 340. Where we will stay? Oh, okay. 380. That's going to get even higher. This wind should get faster. It dies down up here, so we'll be fine. 7 so we have the jet stream in the area right now. That's pretty rocky, so we'll see both signs on. Until we get out of this crazy wind, it's it's moving. I can feel it. I can see it out there. So the seatbelt signs stay on. VOR radio up there. Alrighty, we are at altitude. Must not be broadcast right now. Okay, that's fine. We got the identity right here anyways. We don't need to. 73 knots. 0.86. Good. That's about where I want to keep it. So let's shut the door. Lock it. And we'll keep an eye on this turbulence. See you with an update later on. Okay, we're back. You're pretty close to final. Got the flaps off the 15. I'm going to go ahead and see how many legs do we have. It's a total of 16 nautical miles.
yeah. Pretty sure that's a 16 nautical miles until we get our... We're on our, the last leg of our approach. We'll just use the localizer hold to hold it. So, V ref is... 142, so let's drop down... 180. Flaps 20. Ready, time to start going in. BRF is 142, got it. Nav rad, the ILS. Yeah, localizer's already started to show up here. I'm gonna arm the localizer hold. And hold it. Until we get in. So, pull the speed brakes in. Okay. Now you see the runway. Local laser hold is active. So no need to worry about the heading anymore. Yep, it's turning us in. Good. Speed brakes. Armed. Now we just wait for the glide slope to come alive. B ref is 142. Just go ahead and slow down to 142. Or let's do 160 first. Okay. And here we come. This has been a little bit of a slow approach, and I'm kind of talking rather slowly. Go ahead and do the gears. And drop down to 142. No visual yet. 
should be coming soon. Right after Guppy, there it is. So a visual should be coming sometime soon. By attendance, please take your seats for landing. Wait for it to catch the glide slope. Okay, we are on seven left. Six right, I mean. So we should be. Which one is it? This is kind of confusing. runways down there that could qualify. I'm going to assume it's the one right in front of us. Here comes so auto throttle off and all pilots connected. My airplane. So I'm going to be keeping it, be careful with the localizer. That's going to guide us to the right runway. Okay, I know, getting it back in. I hope the ILS not misaligned. Why do I feel like we're crabbing? Okay. Decrease the descent rate. Ah, it must be this one. Must be this one. Okay. Now, here we come. It's this one, the inner one, not the outer one. Got it, right here. Ooh, a bit too high. Weird. It's gonna be really high. That was high. Flare. Cut the power. And reverse.
Okay. And reverse off. Auto brakes off. And let's go forwards. Vacate the runway. Welcome to Los Angeles, everyone. Vacate here. of a short stop there so now it's our job to find the American terminal I having never been to LAX in the real world don't know where it is All right let's stop the brakes on so we can go back into ground mode it's Qantas here so we'll just park where all the other big jets are that should do it for us but first things first landing lights off let me turn off off I hit the wrong one Taxi on strobe off and these work. So let's turn the APU on. Okay. AP was running, so now let's watch our replay. we're back so we're just gonna go we're just gonna go over there to what I believe is the international terminal although this is a, although this is actually a domestic flight and park over there those are some yeah the other airplanes are kind of small so we'll just go over there okay yeah Alrighty, let's, let's go. Excuse me.
LAX. We're here. After six hours of flying, it wasn't so bad, was it? The next flights are going to be rather short within the continental United States. it is time to go to Europe. Okay, so here's our incoming gate here. There's the guidance system. Let's get in. Please ID us up. We are ID'd up. Hopefully more airports in the future start coming up with coming out with SAM. So we can connect both gates, or both jetways to our aircraft. The engines are actually already idle. We cannot actually slow down any further. That's how crazy this 777 is and its power. And now we're light. Parking brake. Okay, probably wasn't supposed to use it that way, but we had an emergency stop. Okay, parking brake set. APU is on. APU gen. APU bleeds. So. Oh. Taxi light off, so we don't blind people, so we don't kill anybody. We're going to go ahead and bring this back to standby, turn off the WXR. Okay, and now we can shut down. That's our flight guys, we are finished. Flight director off. Turn off the fasten seatbelt sign. And EGT should be safe. So beacon off. No, nav on, beacon off. There you go, we are in. Now let's bring in the trucks. Doors go to manual, chocks are set, stairs, because this airplane is rather weird, and ground handling. Catering. Other loader. We don't need that catering. Let's take it away. This catering. This catering. This one over here on the left is always the hardest to click. There we go. It's catering. 
and the other looters. Okay, so drive up. I'm gonna open this door over here just because we can. Let's see if this fuel truck knows to pass behind us completely. Oh, the luggage truck does, so the fuel truck should be fine as well. <laughs> That's the um, wrong place, Bucko. There's no door there. They're all actually in the wrong place. Okay, that needs to be fixed. Except this guy. Who's. Yes! In the 777 200 position, I believe. Doesn't matter though, because those doors don't actually open. Okay. Let's get close. And that's where we are for now. Unload the plane. Aircraft unloaded. Alrighty, and so that's us. That's our flight from Honolulu to LAX. We're now in the mainland US, and next time we'll continue moving eastward on our world tour. That was AA or was it AA104, I think that was the name of the flight. But okay, and my greeting, my old Kekoman, Aku, Ibmaliari. I will see you next time, and goodbye.